the biggest thing about having a website is generating uh, potential sales leads or capturing people's names from your website so that you can market to them on a consistent basis. So this is a big hack that I do with my website. So literally, if you come to my website, and I'm going to show you a whole bunch of ways that I capture names off my website. If you come to my website and at the very top, you're going to see this 25 must have sales and marketing tips. I actually push people through to that with a bunch of Twitter messages that go out and people come in and they click on that or get to my landing page. So when you go here, Literally, you end up on a landing page that looks like this, that says, you know, get my free ebook, blah, blah, blah. And then what I do is when someone clicks on that link or that download now, I get their contact information, which allows me to uh, continually market to people on a consistent basis. Now, the other one I have is something that's called Pippity, which does a pop-up that allows you to um, uh, put a pop-up on your site. And the way I've got it set up is um, this will only show for new people that are coming to my site or if you haven't been to my site in like 60 days and it pops up, same thing. It's all there to get a name and email and allow me to continually market such as, you know, come to my webinars, so on and so forth. Now, the other one too is when you go to one of my blog posts, um, what happens is I give you multiple ways to give me an email address. So in this case, this information where it says stop cold calling webinar, that's kind of my strong call to action down at the very end of my, um, at the end of my post, which is, you know, give me your name and email and come to my stop cold calling webinar. So watch this. So I give people the ability in the U.S. to text cold call to 313131 to reach me in Canada, same thing, 393939. So I get their mobile number and also I get them to sign up for my webinar. Then what I do is I got a link here that pushes them through to a landing page that allows them to sign up. And then I've got this big red button that does the same thing. Now in some of my posts, I'll actually have interviews going on that allow people to download the whole interview. And right now I've uh, got posts up from an author called Andy Paul. I've put this at the bottom of that one that allows me to uh, allow people to download the interview, but they have to give me their name and email to uh, to get that. And then last but not least, at the very end, I've got to email me, I've got to hit my website, I've got to check out my webinars, and then I've got, you know, subscribe to my podcast. So yes, that is nine ways in which you can reach me or contact me or give me an ability to get your email address. Then there's two more. So I said I use a lot of videos on my website, pretty much every single post that I do. And I use a service called Lead Pages, which unfortunately isn't around anymore, but there is one called Wistia. And Wistia will allow you to do this. What it does is I've got a couple of things. When my video plays, it'll pop up down at the bottom where it says learn how to cold call, uh, stop cold calling, click here, it takes you through to a landing page, giving your name and email. And then at the end of my videos, I've got, you know, stop cold calling now, claim your spot at our next webinar. And you can put any kind of message in here, but that's another two ways. So I've got multiple ways for people to uh, give me their names and emails off my website. 